Hey guys, Dinkberg here, welcome back to the channel, and uh, another Dragon's Dogma 2 trailer dropped. And this one's actually narrated by Ian McShane, so Ian McShane is the guy from the American Gods TV show, but also from John Wick, he's he's the, the hotel manager. Anyways, let's just watch this, I haven't seen it yet, so this is the first time I'm opening it, so let's watch it and just react together. Anyways, let's do this. Behold, a world... Touched by magic, a symphony of myth and reality, an everlasting saga of hearts set ablaze. Lend me a moment, and I'll tell you a story of a fantastical realm. Guys, how immersive does this world look? It's... I, I love it, I love it. It reminds me of Dragon Age Inquisition. It just... The, the world crafting in this kind of games is... Next level. For untold eons, a dragon has plagued the world. Its ominous shadow looms over the lands. A dreadful creature of chaos. That's a big boy. And awe, with tales of its cruelty echoing far and wide. No mortal would dare to dream of challenging the dragon in single combat yet. There is one who must. In a legendary tale doomed to repeat across the ages, the dragon chooses a worthy champion from each generation, wrenching the beating heart from their chest and forging a being known as the Arisen. This hero Marked by fate and burdened by their lost humanity. That's a cool looking armor. Reminds me of the armor from Berserk. You know that black armor he gets that drives him like crazy. Arms in search of the dragon who stole their heart. But the path of the Arisen is not a solitary journey. Also, the graphics are not too bad either. Like, this is a good looking game. I wouldn't say it's groundbreaking, but it, it definitely looks good. I see you recognize my word, Arisen. Where they can sell oh, Kajit approves. ...from parallel realities. The loyal and hard-working pawns. Cannot oh, wait to sink countless hours into this. Is a potent spell. Going as Archer for the first playthrough? Yeah, we'll go from there. The pawns become the Arisen's companions and confidants. I hope you slept well, Master. As they go forth on their journey together. It's looking promising, guys. It's looking promising. All right, so it looks like we're gonna get a bit of uh, in pursuit of background the here. Dragon, the Arisen and their pawns set foot across two nations, as disparate in terrain as they are in their ways of life. That is awesome. That marketplace the looks sick. The fertile land cradled by alpine peaks and rolling hills. The fortress city stands as a bastion wow. of prosperity and security. Wow. Cascading waterfalls and serpentine rivers flow throughout the countryside, feeding into fruitful farms where a feeling of abundance permeates <laughs> the fresh air. All right, is it like a the fast travel system like in Skyrim? Palace, right? You just jump on the coach. You are approaching the gates of Burnworth. Here, the Ooh, bit concerned about those facial expressions though. But I guess a game of this scale and magnitude by destiny, it's not exactly going to be graphically impressive. Champion, protecting the land from the dragon's scourge. Beyond Vermin's verdant embrace lies Batar. This is so Dragon Age-esque. I love it. I absolutely love it. Deserts. Its shifting sands and jagged canyons require creative thinking to traverse. Nice, nice. With gondolas connecting precarious outposts. Here, that is sick. Is not an uh, like the immersion itself, the world they've created, I gotta upload them for it. believed to be a source of grave misfortune. Patal's rulers are not of human lineage, but rather Bistran priestesses who worship the lambent flame. For the Bistran believe its sacred fires shield them from the calamity of the dragon. Meanwhile, outside the reaches of human and bistron, hidden within the depths of the forest, an ancient sect of elves resides in seclusion. Ah, of course, there's going to be elves. Known only to them, 
and avoiding contact with other races. On their journey, the Arisen will navigate through conflicts between species and the complexities of culture, faith, and history in each land. The choices the Arisen makes will shape... This feels like a mix between Dragon Age and Final Fantasy. They've taken the combat from like Final the Fantasy and they have the settings from like Dragon Age. Inquisition looks freaking awesome. This is gonna be amazing. All right, let, let's see what sort of enemies we're gonna be facing. Cyclops, nice. For the world is home not only to human and beast friend, but Combat looks so fluid, so good. Hungering to defeat the hero and their pawns. Each step of the way is marked with blood and sweat shed in the face of relentless guys i understand the world's gonna be huge i understand there's gonna be a lot to do but i i just i'm not sold as to how filled is gonna be i hope it's not a case of starfield where you get these massive environments but they're empty like there's nothing to do in there just the occasional enemies i hope that's not the case i have high hopes for this game i'm super pumped but uh let's see i don't expect it to be witcher 3 kind of filled with content but i do expect to see a lot especially given the budget of the game like i get it it's combat focused but also you want a bit of depth in it as well a single undead murmuring to itself adrift in memories of its living past is a haunting sight but a horde of undead, united in a mindless nocturnal frenzy, is a truly nightmarish test of metal. And the mightiest foes are monsters most only see in myths. The Minotaurs. That looks awesome. The Minotaur looks so cool. Medusa. Oh, Medusa as well. Gaze. Nice. And the Dullahan's ghastly severed head will strike fear in even the most stout-hearted and with every exhilarating encounter the hero must think creatively it will take cleverness as well as courage to conquer the three heads of the chimera slay the soaring griffin and over that griffin looks like carl france's mount from <laughs> from warhammer <laughs> nice nice Looks like they've they've taken a lot of inspiration from Greek mythology here. The Minotaur is my favorite one. They've made such a good job of it. The culmination of both their destinies. Welcome to Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh, nice. That was that was a good trailer. Very good narration. Very good narration. Super super pumped for this one, guys. Let me know where you're getting this game. I'm super pumped to play it. So it's most of my time is going to go between Starfield, Warhammer 3, and this. Cannot wait. As always, Dinpo here. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.